everyone and welcome to part 2 of my Game Maker Studio Five Nights at Freddy's tutorial series. And uh, what we are going to be doing in this part is making the office. So um, I've imported a few pictures. Um, the, the pictures I used for Five Nights at Pink as 4. But uh, you could of course make your own pictures. Um, you need to split the picture of the office up in multiple parts if it's big because what I want to make is uh, 360 degrees of it just like in Five Nights at Pingas 4 so um, I have five parts and uh, they are all 100 and, uh, 1280 by 720 and um, as long as they are below the size you have set as your text your page um, Text your page right in here. If they are below that uh, size, all the parts, it should be fine. But if they are above the size in any of the dimensions, it will be shrinked down and it will look bad and blurry and stuff. So um, yeah, and as you can see right here, um, this, and then uh, this pretty much comes after that, and then this comes after that again, and then uh, watch. Uh, let's just take a look. I've imported two of the same, I'm just going to delete that. And then this one comes after the third one, and then the fifth one is last, and it's the background pretty much. So um, what you have to do when you have made some pictures just like this, is you have to make a room. And uh, let's just call that room uh, night one. And then uh, night one is pretty much going to be the room where our entire first night takes place. So um, we want the office to be in the bottom of the room pretty much. So we have to figure out how long the room should be. And um, as all these rooms are 1280 uh, uh, pixels wide, we could just quickly take a calculator and say 1280 times uh, five or uh, yeah, so our room should be that long, and this may seem pretty long, but really it should probably be made longer afterwards because we have you have to turn all the way around. In uh, this game, you are able to turn uh, three hundred and sixty degrees around, and um, when the camera jumps from this side to this side, we have to pretty much have a copy of a uh, of his five. Uh, both in both sides, so uh, I can just quickly say plus one hundred and twenty. There we go, seven thousand six hundred and eighty. And wasn't that? Yeah, that was right. Um, and now we have a room like this. And uh, what we have to start by doing right now is going in into these different backgrounds and tick the use as tile set option. And when you have done this you will get all these tile properties over here. And you have to set all these to 1280 uh, or whatever the size of the picture is and just leave all the other values as zero. And um, you have to do that with all of the pictures. I've already done it just because I thought it would be boring for you guys to watch. And when you've done this, yeah, first of all I just have to make it a bit uh, bigger because we have to have some uh, place for the cameras above here so I'm just going to make it let's say okay we, we have to make something that this let's just say we have uh, eight cameras then we have to uh, multiply it by nine because we have to have eight cameras above and in the office so um, six four eight zero here we go, and now we can you go under this tiles tab, and in here we can choose any of the different parts. And I'm just going to take it from recording. I am great, and here you can choose any of the different parts. You can, uh, for example, start by choosing Office One, and then set the snap up here so that you can place it in the right. Uh, what should we call them? A uh, grid or whatever. We can just say uh, that to. Oh wait, you can't because it's too big. Okay, we can set it to 640, that's just half, and then 720. And now you can see it's way easier to place them. And you can just place them like th this. And the reason why I have 
many parts and not just one pick part uh, is uh, as I've already said uh, uh, what okay I've made stuff is too long for some reason uh, I'm confused oh it's because I forgot to insert a part that makes sense I just yeah there we go now the office looks pretty fine and um, what we have to do is move it a bit over here and then we also have to put the same part over here because we have to do so that when you're looking right at, at this part the camera jumps over here in that way you will be able to turn around 360 degrees but then um, let's start creating that um, so let's make an object and call it obj underscore office move or something and then um, what we have to do uh, with this object Right now isn't that much because we have to make a view first. I just forgot about that. Um, in Game Maker, you use what is called views to uh, pretty much uh, decide what's drawn onto the screen because, of course, this entire room shouldn't be drawn onto the screen at once. That would be kind of stupid. So, what we do is we go under views, enable the use of views, visible in room, room starts, and under here you can edit the properties of the view. And you can also do this uh, using code, but really we can just use this. It's fine for what we are doing. It isn't that complicated. And um, then you right here you just write uh, the size of the game, and this game is yeah this size one thousand two hundred eighty by seven hundred and twenty. And then you write the same thing down here. Um yeah, and now you can just choose where the view should start. The view is this box up here of course. So let's say we want it to be around in the middle. We can do this and then you can also set where it should be in the Y value. Let's say it should be down near the bottom and I set the room to that. So we just have to say that minus 720. I'm just going to use a calculator because then it's a bit easier to be I think it's a bit hard to uh, calculate in your head when while you're talking and stuff so I'm just going to do this and then go in here and write that right down here okay so now the player starts by looking right here and that looks fine in my opinion um, and what we now can do with the office move right here is we can pretty much uh, we shouldn't give it any sprite, just go under its step event. And as I think I told in the last video, the step event is pretty much uh, just an event that's called constantly every frame. So we take step and drag some code out there and now we can st start typing. And um, let's just say we want to start by making the movement to the left side. So what you can say is, is if mouse underscore x and this pretty much just get, gets the mouse position within the window uh, of the game pretty much and if that's uh, less than and now it gets a little bit complicated because now we have to get the uh, view x value pretty much where the view currently is because if we just take it relatively to the room because mouse x doesn't get it relatively to the window I was just that was wrong what I said, it gets it relatively to the room and the, the room is bigger than the view so we have to get the view's position. So we're going to say view and it's called x view and now view 0 because the view we just set up into the room is view 0 and then let's say we want, uh, we want, we want to move left not only when you uh, have the mouse out of the window but also when it's in the left side so let's just say we have pretty much like a box in the left side of the screen that's uh, 200 pixels wide and if the mouse is within that it will move to the left so we're going to uh, uh, write plus 200 and under here we can then say okay someone's just writing to me in steam I'm just quickly going to go offline goodbye everyone uh, Okay, I'm offline, yeah, I shouldn't be able to get any messages right now. Great. 
So if mass underscore x is less than this, then it will set its view underscore x view uh, minus equals, let's just say, 5 pixels. Then you will move 5 pixels to the left while you are having your mouse less than this. But we should also be able to move to the right. So let's say if our mouse x is higher than this plus view underscore w view. This pretty much just gets the width of the view. Uh, I wrote that wrong, right? W view, here you go. Uh, zero and then minus 200 because now it's to the left we have to have a box going out pretty much. So this is just some um, math. It should work if you just write this. Then we should make it plus. So let's just quickly see if this works. I could have made a mistake and um, but I hope not. And I'm sorry about my voice but I think I've got a little bit of a cold or something. <coughs> yeah. It's a bit annoying, but... Okay, now we just have to wait for the game to start up so that we can test our little thing. So let's press the new game button and yes, and... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to make you able to go to the room, of course. So let's just quickly go under the yes button and change these messages, or change this message at least to room underscore go to underscore or in parentheses. And then night one, I think we called it. Yeah, there we go. And let's just quickly go on the load game. Or oh, load game, I don't know what I'm doing. And take a look at this. If I take my mouse over here, we can move to the left. And if I take it over here, we can move to the right. And I think that this is way too slow. So I'm just quickly going to set it to like 50 instead. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> uh, new game. Yes, and take a look at this. It looks pretty amazing. But we have a little problem. Because, as you can see, when we move out here, then, well, we get out of the room. And this is, of course, not supposed to happen. When you go to the basements in other sites, you are supposed to warp to the ba basement at the other side pretty much, so that it looks like you're going around. And then um, we can just quickly do that by figuring out where we have to warp. And we can, s and uh, the view X is uh, right here at the corner of the view, so our view is in the beginning of the game right here. So the view X is here pretty much, right in this pixel. But when we move the camera, we want it to jump right when it's around here. So while we have the grid enabled, we can just move our mouse over into this grid space right here and then look down at the X and Y in the bottom of the window. And uh, as you can see, it says X colon and then 6400 and Y colon 5760. Uh, 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 and I suck at saying numbers in English. So um, what we are just quickly going to do is we're going to go under the office move and we're going to remember these numbers and just look down here we can do this then the numbers will stay there if we just move into the window like this then we can write if view underscore x view is higher than 306 uh, what am I saying 6400, that's what the number is called, uh, then it will set itself to zero. And uh, we do that by writing this. And now you can see that whenever the v uh, underscore x view is higher than 6400, it will go back to zero. And we can just say whenever it's smaller than zero, I guess then it will go to 6400 and this should pretty much work already so i'm just going to try playing the game and taking a look if it works a new game yes and take a look at this yes and as you can see it works pretty much because what we're doing right now is we're kind of 
cheating because as you saw before we had the basement picture in both sides of the room. So this means when you're moving around like this, it will just look the same. You won't see that it's jumping. Really it's jumping right around here. And now we're in one side of the room, now we're in the other side. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, but that was that for this episode. So thanks a lot for watching guys and see you in the next one.